most vloggers on YouTube will only vlog when they're looking glamorous. Not this one. <laughs> So today I am in the bedroom, as you can see by my one glove, I am painting. Um, we're going to do shifts today because I've got to paint the ceiling, mind focus, and Chris has got to do some electrical stuff and we kind of get in each other's way. So I'm painting the ceiling this morning, it's had one coat of plaster paint and it now needs its white coat. Probably the most boring job ever because painting white on white, you can't really see what you're painting and also it's quite boring and just not very fun. Plus you're like this the whole time because it's a ceiling. So it's a little bit annoying, but got to be done. Once it's done, it's done though and I'm never painting ceilings ever again in this house, which is a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, so we've got a few different things going on in this room. Um, I might just show you that the progress over a few vlogs because as you can see, not much is going on right now so we're gonna have our bed on this wall with some shiplap on the walls and then this is our ensuite which is going to be completely ripped out and done up because at the moment as you can see i mean it's a dumping ground right now but it's very very ugly these are everywhere these cupboards they're what we've got in the kitchen they obviously got some sort of like deal on them because they're just everywhere even in the garage so yeah so we're gonna get done with this room i'm gonna paint the ceiling and I'm afraid guys this is what I'm going to look like today because who puts makeup on to paint? Not me. And my hair definitely does not come down. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go and have a run on the treadmill and then I'm going to wash my hair and hopefully look a little bit better. It's now 11 o'clock in the morning though so I better get going before the day is gone. So let's do a little time lapse shall we? So we have these really nice wardrobes from Ikea. I think they're the Pax wardrobes. One each side and the bed will go in the middle. Mm. So we have just started putting the drawers into the wardrobe. <laughs> So today we popped in these white panels down the side just to make it look like the wardrobes are kind of built into the wall a little bit more. This really helps to finish it off. It wasn't an easy job. So Chris has built this frame in the middle and that's where all the electrics are going to go and the shiplap's going to go on the front. It's also going to be kind of like a headboard as well. Um, I don't know how he did this. The measurements were crazy, but we're going to have like a little light either side of the bed. Um, I've put this plant on there just to look nice for now, but as you can see it fits exactly and we're going to have a lovely like live edge shelf on the top. So I'm super excited to see how this is going to come out. So we've laid all the shiplap on the floor with tile spaces. We've numbered them just so that we know exactly where they go when they're on the wall. And then I've just spent my Friday night painting the door shiplap pieces. So we're just putting some sticks like SHIT glue onto each shiplap piece and then we stick this onto the wall and as you can see they all match up and then we're going to paint them white. We've used tile spaces in between so that the tile, um, so that the spaces are exactly the same on each bit. The measurements for this were crazy, thank goodness for Chris, <laughs> but um, I think it looks really good. I'm so excited to paint! So today we're choosing our live edge shelf for the top of the shiplap area. This is the piece of oak that we chose. It matches the wardrobes really nicely. Um, the front of it is definitely a live edge and Chris is gonna sand that off so it's a little bit of a smoother finish. But as you can see, it's all been sanded down. We're gonna um, oil it as well. I just love how the live edge just looks. It breaks up the shiplap as well, which is perfect. So next up, we just gotta paint it white. We're priming the wood first with Zinza Bin. This is the best primer we found online. And then as you can see, I'm using a paintbrush for this. This stuff destroys paintbrushes. Um, you do need a proper cleaner, but I painted it all on, left that to dry, and then we were ready to roll on some white paint. Did a few coats of paint I didn't feel myself doing this but as you can see they looked really nice all white we got some lights from Jim Lawrence and we put the, the live edge up and we were so happy when the lights worked and we were almost there with the bedroom okay guys so it's finally the day when I can show you 
the bedroom. We finally finished. I mean, it is now, um, oh my God, what month is it? I can't even remember what month it is. It's February, 2022. The bedroom has been finished for a little while. So we have been finished for quite a few months now. I'm gonna show you today. We still have a few little bits and bobs to finish off like the doors. So this is really, really old door. It's wonky and broken, but we're gonna get the ensuite done next week, I think. So that will be replaced after that. And so will this one. So just ignore those. But um, the actual bed bedroom is finished. The DIY part of the bedroom is finished. This wall again is a work in progress. We wanna get a mirror and some art and stuff, but that's not the main, that's not the main event. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you the finished bedroom. I'm going to show you all the little details and then I'll explain what we did and why we did it. So let's go. Here is the bedroom. So this is what you see as you walk in and oh my gosh, doesn't it look so much different? It's just absolutely crazy. So these are the Ikea wardrobes that we got. We actually shiplapped the front of these, which I think looks so nice. As you can see, this is the actual um, door and then this is the piece of wood that we put on top. These are Chris's wardrobes. Um, my stuff is all in my office, so he has two wardrobes in here for all of his stuff. And then we've got these handles, which I think look really nice. These are actually from our old Ikea wardrobes that we had in our old house. We like the black detailing, so we just took them off of there and put them on here. And then down here, we have our little side tables and our cute little lamps. So like I said in part of this video, there are electrics behind here and Chris worked all of that out himself. He's never done anything like that, so I'm so proud of him for doing that. So we have little bedside lamps which turn on and it doesn't take space off of the table which is great so this little ta table is actually part of the live edge which run along here so we had some cut off we had just enough to do a table here and a table on chris's side of the bed as well and then down here we actually have like a little iphone lead that goes into the plug which is in the wardrobe i will leave everything linked below um these little lamps are from jim lawrence and so are the little sockets but like i say if i miss anything i will leave absolutely everything linked below this did loads of work to this so it's been sanded oiled this section has been all sanded because this was all rough it had like all bark on it um, it's been scribed to this part and there's so much work that went into this but I think you'll agree that it just adds something a little bit special. We were just going to put like a window seal on top of this shelf but I'm so glad that we chose to do the live edge. I think it looks really nice. So our bed was a kind gift from my mum. She paid for this bed for us. It was from Habitat from Argos I think and um, we wanted something really simple. As you can see it's just quite a simple headboard. Um, it's king size, we upgraded from a double finally um, and it just went really well. We've got a lot of wood going on so we wanted something that would kind of match so I think it matches great. We haven't really got the bed in yet. This is just the bedding that comes with the mattress and it's so soft, we love it. I don't know if I'd go for white in here but realistically I love these like neutral tones like this cushion tone and light linen. This is what it looks like front on which I just, I just absolutely love. I love it so much. Um, and then this is around Chris's side. Again, very similar, got a little shelf, a little light, some bits and bobs, a wardrobe. Look at that sky today, guys. It's the most perfect sunny winter's day. It's just beautiful today. <laughs> the most fantastic blinds now. So I don't know if you can see that. So these are called perfect fit blinds and they're completely black out. So they can actually put in to the window. So they can actually put into the window. Um, so we got those put in because we can still see the sunlight through. I think you'll agree that it looks so nice and the shiplap really worked and the live edge and I just think, yeah. We did this all on our own, which was crazy because it was quite a big job. Chris had a lot of measurements to do, a lot of working out to do. We went back and forth to get the wood recut. So it was a task and a half, hence the reason I didn't do any kind of in-depth vlogs because so much happened with it. But yeah, I think you'll agree that it's worth it. And from just one picture that I found on Pinterest, this is now our bedroom. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that video guys. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the transformation of this room. Maybe I will do a bit of a more in-depth blog post. So if you do want to do this yourself, you have like all of the ways to figure it out. I might need Chris's help to write that though, because he did a lot of that stuff. Um, if that's something that you'd be interested in, then let me know down below in the comments. And thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week for another video. Have a lovely week. Have a lovely week guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!